Okay. So what shall we do next? How about we go and see if we can improve our strategy a little bit by doing an optimization? Would you be interested in that? Yeah, for sure. So effectively, what we've done is here in this strategy, right? We basically introduced a parameter, you know, which is our, our strategy parameter. And, you know, in this case, it's it's 250, but it may not actually be the best parameter. Okay. So the question is, can we improve on that? And one thing we can do is a parameter sweep, right? We can go through all the different parameters mm -hmm. and then uh, see if we find a better uh solution than the 250 for example now in order to do this um, we could just put a loop around it here or i think uh, one of the probably better ways uh, to do this is if we just turn this into a function mm -hmm. and then use our parameter as input parameter so if we want to do a function in python we just do dev and we just call it backtest yeah. And then, um, you know, in Python, we've got this uh, funny thing where we need to indent things the right way. So we need to make sure we got an indentation here. Okay. Now, the question is, what should we use as inputs? Obviously, the spy, because that's what we put in here. Yeah? And then, the other thing is our parameter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We call that, say, uh, I don't know, let's call it P. Yeah. So this, this is our function inputs. That's really all, all the inputs we need at this point, correct? And so we need to change this 250 here uh, effectively to something called P. Mm -hmm. And then, um, we need to change this to P plus one, plus one yeah. right? And that's it. So so we've got our back test and all we have to do to finish it is return something. So we return, um, well, let's just return the unrealized P and L, right? So we return, um, unrealized uh, and I usually put this just my convention unrealized so so these are basically our uh, this is basically our back test now mm -hmm. and then maybe what we should also do is get rid of these print statements <laughs> because they're not going to uh, be much of help anymore to us. Okay. So now we can just go, okay, we run this and obviously we didn't call the back test, so it doesn't give us much output. And then what we can do is here, we can go, um, let's just go D and P equals back test. We put the spy in and then we just put a, I don't know, some number in mm -hmm. and then we can run our back test and hopefully it'll run all right okay there we go and then we can do a plt dot plot d and then np dot cumulative sum of p bam mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. So now uh, the obvious uh, the obvious thing to do now is to combine the two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And go, okay. So all we do is we just wrap that into a loop. Mm -hmm. So for example, we could call this for um, P in, and then we just put some, or we could just go in range and we go, let's say from five, five uh, to, um, 
I don't know, where do we go? 200 in steps of 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we just want to go print um, P so we kind of know where we are when we run this. And so now what we can do is we can basically run this whole thing. And what it does is it will plot all the um, all the things for us. So what we can do is we can also do a label, like we go label equals P. And then we plot this in a legend, PLT dot legend. Does that make sense? So mm -hmm. what we're doing now is we're looping through the whole set of parameters from five to 200 in steps of 10. Yeah. And then we plot all the all the graphs and we see whether some of them are actually better than others. What we could perhaps also do is right at the end we could do um we could actually plot our benchmark. It's always a good idea. Right. So now all we need to do is run through this. And you see, it's a bit slow, of course. So it takes a while to run and um, we will just wait. And what I will do in the next step, once we've done this, and that there's actually a good reason why I've shown you this, because I wanna also show you how painfully slow this is. And what we're gonna do in the next step, and this is where it gets really, really fun. Instead of writing a back test that does all this stuff, uh, you know, all this looping and looping and looping, what we actually do is we're gonna vectorize our back test. So see, we're already through, so it's not too bad. And I guess it's still plotting. Um, and so we have to wait until it's finished. Uh, we did the wrong thing, and actually, when we plot the spy, uh, we got into we run into a bit of trouble as well. So let's actually let's actually leave this out for now. In fact, when I run back tests that are that slow, I'll, I'll discard them. So so usually, um, any any back test that runs uh, more than a second, I go okay, this is not <laughs> it's not acceptable. It needs to be faster. So what we can do effectively now is. Uh, we can look at the plots and we can go, oh, some of the plots are maybe not too bad. Uh, some of them are, you know, not, you know, not great. Um, but we can at least see if there's anything better. Now, what you would normally do is instead of choosing plots, you would just calculate the sharp ratio of your uh, strategy. And you go, okay, um, what's my, what's my sharp ratios? So we have to call this PNLs, and that's why it was running uh, for so long, right? And and now that should be much faster. Let's just uh, let's just test it on a, a much shorter time frame, and this should now plot reasonably fast. Ah, there you go. So okay. Look here, we've got our uh, mm. our results, and look at this. The light blue line is actually the best, one hundred ninety-five. So mm -hmm. we haven't really found anything exciting yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can see that the really short one, the five, is definitely pretty bad. Um, but what you can see is, look at this. This is really interesting. Look how this five line totally goes in the other direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? What does that? Um. What do you? What, um. What would it tell? And and look look how look how it's actually going to over to pass minus one. It's like minus one point, you know, one point oh five or something. Mm -hmm. mm. What does it tell us? I mean that it's kind of like upside down to a certain extent. Yeah, actually, you know what this tells us, I tell you, is if we reverse the strategy, that means we reverse the longs and the shorts, 
-hmm. we could actually have a really profitable strategy here, even more profitable mm. than what we had before. <laughs> and okay. as you can see, it's totally different from the other strategies. It's, it's really quite uncorrelated. Mm 